This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Somewhere in here, you even started to make trips out to LA though. I think you started taking some acting classes. You hosted yes, MTV's did. beach house with Jenny McCarthy. You did an appearance at Nike town with Gabrielle Reese and Shaq, and you even played basketball at Gary Shandling's house with Ben Stiller. So you had some cool Hollywood moments. I think you even appeared on uh, Conan O'Brien and Jay Leno. So y- you had, it feels like some momentum to do some stuff in LA. Did you ever consider moving out there and pursuing that full time? Well, Jimmy Miller, who is a successful Hollywood agent out there, uh, wanted me to come out. And uh, I I just felt like this is the first time I made any type of money. Um, if I go out there, I might just spend it all. Uh, you know, uh, where, and, and the thing is, I wasn't confident confident enough to be an actor back then because – I didn't believe in myself and I wasn't willing to take the chance, you know, all my life, I always took chances. And here I had my first set of money that I had a good bit of money and I didn't want to let go of it because I didn't want to take a chance of spending it. So I passed on going out to LA and I took a sports casting job in Pittsburgh for Fox uh, news. And, um, it was that was a very humbling experience as well. I uh, it was a startup station, and I didn't know anything about sportcasting. So uh, this this was going to be a learning experience for me. Yeah, I think it was uh, Fox fifty three in Pittsburgh, and as a sportscaster, I think your tagline is going to be, and that's the angle on sports, which is kind of a fun little yeah. play on word. And the uh, the story I read was you're walking to the producer and the printed copies of your script goes flying all over the new set. And they tell you, don't worry about that. Just read the teleprompter, but then it goes black. So you're about to pitch to football and the director cuts to golf. Uh, this has to be a tough spot to be in for a guy who already admits, Hey, I'm not super comfortable with this. And now it's not going well. And it's live TV, pal, right? Yes. This is my first night in the air. And, oh. you know, I, I did very little, um, you know, uh, what, what's it called? Uh, rehearsing. I yeah. did very little rehearsing. So, uh, you know, going into the studio and I was in a rush and I had my scripts together and I ran to the producer. My scripts went in the air and they just went all over the floor. And the producer said, forget about them. We're late. You got to, you know, read the teleprompter. Just read the prompter. And I went to, you know, it said time for the angle on sports. And, you know, the guy said my name and I pop up and the teleprompter is completely pitch black. I was like, oh, my gosh, what am I going to do? And the producer saying, Kurt, say something. (laughs) He's telling my ear, say something, anything. And I was like, "Uh, okay, the NFL had games today. Let's cut to the highlights and it ended up being a golf highlight. I had the wrong first story. So, and every time I went, I would, the next one I would say, and now it's football, it would be baseball or basketball. So it it was all out of order and there was no way I was going to be able to recover. And it was the worst eight minutes of my life. And, you know, the, the, the head, um, sports anchor of the weekday sport sports anchor, uh, LB Oxenrider. He said, I've been doing this for 17 years. That never happened to me. And I thought, well, that's, that's my luck. My first time the teleprompter goes black. So it, it was, it was a crazy experience. So in typical Kurt angle fashion, uh, you start coming in late, uh, I mean, staying late rather coming in early. I mean, you're putting in the extra time to really work at it and get better, but just when you start to get comfortable, the station manager pulls you and says, okay, now you're our on-site reporter. So you're going to be out in the field, going to games, talking to athletes, but here there's no teleprompter. So all the stuff you've been working on doesn't matter anymore. But I think when I, when I read your book, I sort of get the impression you didn't like the way it felt to be in the locker room, not as a athlete, but as a reporter and maybe some of the way those folks treated you when maybe before they would have treated you totally differently. And you just throw the towel in on broadcasting. What can you tell us about that? Yes. I, I got kind of demoted to, uh, 
sports reporter from sports anchor. Right. And, uh, I started going out in the field and covering sports and, you know, interviewing athletes and it just got really weird. Um, you know, these athletes no longer looked at me as a, as a peer. They were, you know, they were short with me and they were not real respectful. And, you know, I just felt like, uh, this wasn't for me and, I, I don't want to be in this position. I, you know, I, I actually want respect from other athletes and uh, having this job just was a little uh, very humbling and it, it just wasn't for me. And, uh, you know, I, I, I knew it wasn't the right fit. I was just trying to find something to do and find something to keep me busy. And I thought the sports casting, I would do it for a year or two or three and, uh, I wasn't surprised when I quit. So it was one year and I was done. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.